Hi, brothers and sisters. So last night I had a dream that I was at a camp and all of the elef- elements just reminded me that our homeland is in heaven and earth is basically like our campsite. And um, one of the first things I saw was a big man-made like island but with a very dirty pond in the center and kids were swimming in it and uh I wasn't quite interested in that but you know we know our earth is polluted by many things um one fun thing at a camp though is s'mores however there were videos teaching kids how to do pranks at this camp and many kids were putting hot sauce on the s'mores and just taking away that enjoyable experience. I guess it's kind of like the old saying who, you know, messed up your Wheaties. So, um, you know, a lot of people are putting hot sauce and stirring it up and um causing extra problems that don't need to be there and making things run less smoothly. And of course, you can watch videos on the internet of all kinds of horrible things to do, but Um another thing I noticed there were big hills to climb there were challenges um everything was on a time schedule we had to hurry to do this activity to do that activity even good activities there was prayer time there was singing time there was worship time there was service time there was fun mixer time and we we're just all trying to hurry and eat and get dressed and get to the next event So of course that caused a lot of fatigue. I know a lot of kids come back from camp pretty exhausted. We were pretty exhausted. And here's part of the just getting ready to go from one event to the next. There were a bunch of blue jeans to choose from and um people no matter how well meaning were trying to offer me their blue jeans and you know not not two people aren't the same god made us all different and made us all unique and what fits someone isn't going to fit someone else and um some of the sisters have had dreams about relaxed denim and um you know it can be hard to relax at a camp so you know jesus knows us intimately and he knows how unique we are Once we climbed one of those big hills, I was talking about it looked at like that other picture there were houses on the top and I guess it was kind of like married housing at the camp. It was a little bit nicer, so one of my friends was nice to take me up there, but then it was evident in that married housing that even the most picture perfect beautiful couple um can argue when you're in their close quarters. You can see that so life is not perfect like the picture perfect photo um but it was nice that there was a couple who had invited me into their home and one of the person's names was Krista which means follower of Jesus so these are the blessings that you know as we're passing through earth our campsite there are blessings that the lord places and drops into our lives other followers of christ that bless us and minister to us and guide us and help us along the way one of those friends was named wendy in my dream and wendy just means friend so god blesses us with friends who are followers of christ that offer us hospitality and rest Uh, um I did there was one person walking along singing with a guitar in my dream and birds were flying overhead over us as we walked along together and this guitar pick just kind of went with that a friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words and the holy spirit can be that friend as well if you think of the holy spirit like a dove and the birds Um the other day he just put the doxology in my heart and I started singing it just out of the blue and I'm not a huge music or singing person and especially when I'm kind of you know feeling under the weather so that was really a blessing 
at this camp in my dream, there were people going fishing. They had their fishing poles. They maybe had even caught a couple fish already. And my heart was just so with them. We know Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. And I, I just looked at them and I was just my heart was there. I wanted to be a fisher of men. Um, but in this particular dream, I was just very weary and tired. And Jesus also said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Praise the Lord. So that was part of one of the friends walking me, even though it was up a hill to, um, you know, the, the married housing that was a little bit nicer so I could have a, a restful room and um, unload some of the burdens that you know, I had in my pockets, I just unloaded it all there. So again, our homeland is in heaven. We're just passing through this earth. Romans eight twenty two to 23 says, We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. Praise the Lord that he is with us even now. Surely his goodness and mercy and love will follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. Amen.